The original band shell had served a long life. It was built in 1976. What we realized early on as part of the project advisory committee is that we didn't really just want to replace a band shell, which has a pretty narrow function. We really wanted a multi-purpose pavilion. We wanted to open up the building so that it was multi-use. We had stages facing both the Great Lawn here and the back hillside. And we wanted something that could function so on a day like today, you could just have lunch under it or you could have a small picnic, have a small group, you could have weddings. From an acoustic standpoint, we talked to lots of musicians and people who understand acoustics. And what they've said is that sound and the science of sound is all done electronically. It's not really done through structural acoustics any longer. Any sort of modern sound system will, will sound fine. One of the questions that comes up occasionally is, screening from wind or weather. And, and rather than build permanent walls, we've decided to have a system of screens that can be moved around based on the purpose of the, of the person using the structure at the time. The Pavilion Project is about a million dollar project. The city's $750,000 comes from a combination of park improvement fees, which come from commercial development here in town, and some of the local sales tax, which just went into effect last summer. Community for the Commons is all local philanthropy from individuals. One of the nice things about a project like this is that it can be done pretty quickly. So early February we broke ground and the project is scheduled to be completed June 30th. We did a lot of research prior to the master plan really coming together. We saw so much passion coming from the community, South Lake, the business community, residents, non-residents, about memories that they had in the Commons. And the big thing that they wanted to get across is that they felt the park really needed some more love, but they didn't want to see it totally change. And so that's really been the focus of Community for the Commons and the master plan is to embody that. I think everybody's really looking at it as a multi-year project. So next, the City and Community for the Commons is already starting work on the concession building, which is a great complement to the band shell. After that, we're really looking at a variety of other projects, the baseball field, port walking area, much to come. One of the great ways to get updates on the band shell, as well as future projects as part of the master plan, is going to our website. There you can also sign up for our newsletter to get up-to-date information and I would really encourage people to become a member and uh, support our community because it's going to take everybody's involvement to make this project a reality. Not only is it a great project in and of itself, it's fun because it's really the beginning of what's going to be a 10-year project to redo this whole park. It's a nice start to a master plan. <laughs>